consider your choices? Do you feel as if you have to choose between this and that? Do you feel as if it's either this or that, right? Either or thinking? Because if that's how you're coming at your decisions, then you're doing it in a way that's very limited. You're, you're not seeing the limitlessness of the choices available to you. And that means that you're always going to have this or that, right? You're never going to have what you really, really want because you're not choosing something different. So when I attended the Landmark Forum quite a number of years ago, well, my video is going to be all wobbly here. <laughs> Sorry, it's gotten windy again here in New Mexico. Anyway, when I attended the Landmark Forum quite a number of years ago, I remember one of the attendees was called up to the front and was asked to, to choose between um, a vanilla ice cream cone and a chocolate ice cream cone. And I didn't really understand at that time what the point was of this exercise. But in fact, the point was that, or at least the way I interpret it, is that you weren't really choosing because you might not like vanilla or chocolate ice cream. Now, I like chocolate okay, but every time I choose ice cream, it's going to be mud pie. And if I can't have mud pie, it's going to be Jamocha almond fudge. So that's my choice, right? If I am choosing between chocolate and vanilla, I'm settling and I'm going to choose chocolate, but I'll be settling. And I'm resigned to the fact that I have to have one or the other and I can't have what I really want. And so that's really the point here is that when you are in this, this or that, either or type thinking when it comes to choices, you're settling. You're not really getting what you want and you're resigned to the fact that these are the only things you can have. So for instance, um, you know, we make these kinds of choices all the time or we're offered these types of options all the time. Would you rather live, um, have a home in the mountains or by the ocean? Would you rather um, uh, go out to dinner or have sex? Would you rather read a good book or watch a movie? Would you rather um, drive or fly? Would you rather have a cat or a dog? Would you rather have perfect health or the job of your dreams? Right? These are all either or or this or that type decisions, right? So if you don't like those choices, if you don't want to be resigned to having these kind of choices, choices you don't really want, then it's time to change to limitless thinking, right? To realize that your choices are limitless as long as you know what you want and you actually choose that because you can I'm sorry, I'm having to hold my camera. <laughs> um, you can actually create what you want, right? So if you're willing to commit to the choice that you really want and then make it happen, your choices are limitless because you can choose whatever it is you like. So you don't wanna get stuck in either or thinking, um, but you want to actually go for the choice that really is the one that you like or want, okay? Um, I'm thinking. <laughs> so the point is that you're working from possibility because either or thinking or this or that thinking, you know, those kind of choices lack possibility. But if you have the belief that everything is 100% possible 100% of the time, which we hear a lot in personal growth circles, then you know that even if you don't like the choices that you're being presented with, you can make a different choice. You can choose whatever you like and then you can make that happen, right? Now, if you don't like the choices that you're being given and so, or you can't decide which is the best choice for you and so you're not choosing, that's also a decision, that's also a choice, right? So not choosing is a choice. But if you don't choose, what's gonna happen? If you don't choose, everything stays the same and you still don't have what you want. So wouldn't it be better to just choose something? Because what's on the other side of that choice? Are you afraid that you won't like the choice, that you won't, um, that it, you'll fail or something? So you might learn some lessons, but you're also gonna be presented with the opportunity to make another choice, right? So I'm at fault of this sometimes, like at restaurants. I am a foodie and I really um, dislike ordering something at a restaurant and not liking it. Not only have I paid money for it, but my experience at the restaurant is now you know, less than I would like it to be because I didn't like the dinner or the lunch or whatever it is, right? 
So I'll choose the thing I know and like every single time rather than trying something else. But that's kind of either or thinking too. You know, I can choose what I like and know, or I can choose something different and possibly like it more, right? Have a new experience. And so, and if I don't, then the next time I go, I can choose something else. I can go back to what I like and have had before, or I can choose something different, right? So you always have the option to choose again, to choose again. So it's never a failure. It's never um, a bad choice. It's just a choice. Whether it's bad or good is a total interpretation, right? And there's no need to interpret it that way because it's just an interpretation. The fact is you liked it or you didn't like it. It worked out or it didn't work out. And now you get to choose again. So don't get stuck in either or or this or that choosing. Choose from a place of uh, real distinction of what you want, right? And know that no matter what your options seem to be, you can always choose what you want and make that happen. Just commit to your choice and stick with it. So for me, if I commit to having mud pie, then I have to just find a place here in the Albuquerque region where there is mud pie ice cream. I haven't found it yet. I know where it is in Santa Cruz and I will choose it every time, right? But I could also go choose Jamocha Almond Fudge, which I like, and I could probably get at a Baskin Robbins. Anyway, if I don't like that, what if I just decide to make mud pie ice cream? See, I could still have mud pie ice cream if I wanted to, if I'm committed to my choice, if I make a real choice, right? Not just this or that. I choose what I really want and I make it happen. That's possibility. That is um, living in uh, impossibility and limitless options limitless choices. So that's what I would like for you. So um, I challenge you today to think about your choices because you're choosing in every moment. Life is one huge choice. <laughs> we are choosing all the time. So life is choice, not a choice. It is choice because we're making choices all the time. And I want you to just be aware of that because you choose, you choose whether you um, have the attitude of I have to go to the grocery store or I get to go to the grocery store because there are people who don't get to go to the grocery store, right? Um, you choose whether you get to go to your job or you have to go to your job, whether you have to walk the dog or you get to walk the dog, right? Those are choices in mindset, right? Um, we make choices all the time, all the time. I choose to watch TV or to read a book. I choose to eat dinner with my husband or watch TV while I eat dinner, right? We make choices. Make choices about what you eat, what you do, how you think. Become conscious of that fact so that that way you are making conscious choices and you're choosing what you want, right? Choosing what you really, really want and creating that in your life because our choices create our lives, right? So that is my challenge for you. Become conscious of your choices and choose what you really want. I'm Nina Amir, the Inspiration to Creation Coach. I am an intuitive, transformational catalyst. I, am, I use my certified high performance coaching um, certification, <laughs> high performance coaching certification, um, as well as uh, my many, many years in the pers personal and spiritual growth realm to provide uh, what I call inspired results coaching. And in my Inspired Creator community, the links above, the Inspired Creator community, I offer high performance coaching curriculum, world-class personal development curriculum, and Inspired Results Coaching, which is a little more on the esoteric, metaphysical, um, woo-woo side of things, but also brings in personal growth. I offer all of that in the Inspired Creator community. You can also work with me one-on-one, -on -one, but the Inspired Creator community is an awesome community of people all trying to level up both personally and spiritually and to live into their best self, to step into the identity that they know is possible for them, to, to be the person they know they, they can be and to create, the, get inspired and create the life that they really want. So if that's of interest to you, click on the link above and I'd love to, to work with you and I'd be honored to be your coach and to have you as one of the members of the Inspired Creator community. 
Until I talk to you next time, go out there and achieve more inspired results. Mm -hmm.